Jai Gurudev. I have also in my sharing also some prayer for Radharani, for your pleasure, Gurudev, and for the pleasure of all the Vaishnava family. I read it now. My dear Radharani, now by the grace of my Guru Manjari, I can see you with a clear mind. Your beautiful eyes, the bold curve of your eyebrows, your hair ornament on the front of your forehead, your flower earrings, your beguiling look from your beautiful eyes, your black hair braid that lies over your left shoulder, your dainty wrists that are adorned with diamond studded bracelets. I beg you, dear Radharani, all of this with all the longing of my heart. Please burn indelibly into my mind and in my heart forever. I am yours. You are mine. Thank you for your attention, Gurudev. Thank you for attention, and your Vaishnava family. Yeah. Radi, Radi. Very good. Very nice. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much, Govinda Prem. My sound is not coming so nicely, but uh, because it is such a nice... Uh, Freya, maybe you can uh, read this again, because just now I see English and Japanese uh, translation are there. So, okay. And uh, please uh, read slowly, because it is a deep prayer. Okay. I will the top of my Guru Manjari and for the pleasure of the Vaishnava family. My dear Radharani, now... By the grace of my Guru Manjari, I can see you with a clear mind. I see your beautiful eyes, the bold curve of your eyebrows, your on the front of your forehead, your flower earrings, your beguiling look from your beautiful eyes, your black hair braid that lies over your left shoulder, your dainty wrists that are adorned with diamond studded bracelets. Dear Radharani, I beg you with the grace of my Guru Manjari, all of this, with all the longing of my heart, please burn indelibly into my mind and heart forever. I am yours and you are mine. Thank you, Gurudev. Jaiho. Jaiho. That's the end of my sharing. Thank you very much for the possibility. <laughs> <laughs> you are always a very nice surprise, Govinda Prem. Uh, it's the mercy of my Gurudev and the mercy of all the Vaishnava family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gurudev. <laughs> Thank you so much for always being eager to it's share changed. and to listen. How much it changed, you see. When I went <laughs> first time, then people said, don't go. One Govinda is there. 
in his company, he don't like to see sannyasi. <laughs> and he don't like to see Krishna devotee. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> one of the partners is so heavy. I said, no problem. I will see. <laughs> And now he changed himself. He built for Krishna consciousness. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Govinda Prem. Thank you, Suniti. You are our butterfly of Radha Prem. <laughs> I'm I was little, flying in the sky of service. I'm only a little spark of the mercy of my Guru Maniri. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I want to invite our Raghunath Baba for his song. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm next to Gurudev. <laughs> Jai! This is the best position. <laughs> yeah. That is the best position, my dears. Wonderful. Yeah, I have to, I have to take that. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, Raghunath Baba. Radhe Radhe, my dears. A heart and praise to everybody. Soon we will meet here, no? All together, beautiful. So, uh, my dear friends, we were a bit uh, continuing from last time. Just another phrase of that. And we also have a very nice surprise today because Maharani is here. And uh, she will also share. So I will speak a oh, short, uh, very short words and then you uh, just a little bit to to get into it and uh, make all a little bit happen, then this will come out nicely now. So, um, oh, and I'm also so happy I, that I see, that I saw you all in, in, uh, in Terni, Suniti, with all my good friends yes. there. It was so beautiful and to see and to remember. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place, no, Terni? We have to it bring Dainana Maharaj has to go there one day when now the situation is a little bit complicated still no, in the world, I heard. Anyway, this is another world where we speak now about, and this is, I just want to give that a little, a little angle. Okay, like that. So, are you all ready? I start? Yes, please. Hmm. Yes. It is said. Okay. So last time we spoke a little bit about how that comes to Swamini, and now I describe a little bit uh, what means love actually when we consider and contemplate love. Where there is love, there's our Swamini. Where the birds brightly sing and the butterfly dances, dancing. The creeks resound and the leaves of the trees whisper. Where everyone and everything floats in love. Yes. This is our sweet home. It sounds very much living at the shore of Radhakunda, right in front of Madan Sugata Kunj. Abai, without fear. Love knows no fear. Being fearful means something is missing. It's our own attitude 
and actions which give us problems. It's not the mistake of others. We draw the line to our next destination. The answer is blowing in the wind of change. In a novel, Immaculate Attitude, one day we have to become pure. Hopefully, today in here now, in Abhideya Kyan, and then proceed into Prayochan Kyan. We have to be ready to weep out of love on the shore of Sri Radha So this little part I wanted to present today and um, Actually, the, the song I would present, I mean, I, we have not now really uh, to, to transfer the sound, but I will talk in my, with my voice, and I just will bring it like a poem. On my journey back home, leaving behind me and mine, It won't take long till the moon begins to shine. On my journey back home, I can see your moonlike face. It won't take long to feel your loving embrace. Radhe Radhe. And now I give the word to. No, Agnath, you have to play the song. Oh, but how I can play it now? It's impossible. Guitar. You have no guitar? No, right now I don't have a guitar here. Yeah. I can oh, play it one day. I will play it with a, with a nice uh, sound checkup and uh, then I will play it. And I will play it for you, of course, when you come. All when you come all then here in life. Radhe Radhe, thank you so much. Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Nice poetry. Jai ho. I turn you back to Gurudev. Jai ho. How many are there? Oh, how many are there? Suniti, how many are there? I'll open the pictures. At the moment, um, let's see. I cannot see them all, do you? Can anybody see how many we are? 56. 56, Gurudev. Oh. Yes, you. thank you. 56. So you can count times two or three because not always one person on one screen. Would you like to share something? Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. I don't think so. I think that uh, Suniti Didi has a program and people sharing. No, always is uh, good to be spontaneous because today also everyone took short time and I have now Maharani will share after and the Russian lady, but they can come only later because they are traveling. So it would be nice if you share something with our dream. Yeah, what should I share? <laughs> I tried. I've so much enjoyed these uh, sessions. I'm not. Um, I have a working conflict, so I'm not there for um, on live. But I'm always listening to the recordings. 
And thanks to, thanks for, to Kishnakat uh, Kirtan for this. But I, uh, every time I think back, I try to reconstruct with uh, Gopika Didi how uh, how we met and how I met Gurudev. And I just love these stories that everyone's telling about their history. But I think Gurudev knows about me that um, my experience of uh, Radha Mohan and of, of this family is one of remembering. One really of samskara. That it's not like I came along and I discovered our movement and I discovered the wonderful brothers and sisters and I discovered Gurudev. It's that all through my life there have been little um, signs that made me remember that I already met you all. That I already knew Gurudev. That I already knew Gopika. And that I'd already been been um, a devotee. So this has happened all through my life regularly and became stronger in the stronger in the in the last years where I would stop up and think that this is all so so familiar and that this experience of love that uh, we learn from this family and from this from Gurudev is is something that I've known and then I've lost that I've known and then I, or not lost, but forgotten. So I've become really sensitive to the word forgotten in the texts that we read in Bhagavad Gita and then Vilupa Kusmanjali and Narada Rasa Zudiniti. The word forgetting comes up very often. You have to look. It's really beautiful that we forget that we have the divine love in us already. And so I get these experiences through my life, and this is what's really brought me more intensely together with you, that um, I was convinced that I already knew this, and that somehow I got uh, distracted and, and forgotten. And I suppose if I want to tell you the really personal story that Gurudev also knows, I suppose this is the place, but I'm a bit embarrassed about it. <laughs> that, um Yay! Was it good, David? It was uh, only six months ago. I've been shuffling around and moving house and moving boxes and uh, and uh, and the rest. And I found some old letters, big boxes full of letters, lots and lots, full of dust. And somehow the dust smells like something special already. And I start opening the letters and the letters oh. from this uh, absolute love of my life. It was when I was 22, and uh, and I read, and I didn't know anything about love, of course, when you're 22, I didn't know about love of life, I didn't know about life or love or anything, I was stupid as a, as a goat, and uh, so I started reading them, and the language uh, from this woman uh, just went right to my heart. And there were tons of letters. There were hundreds of them over, I don't know, a two-year uh, relationship. And, uh, and I read one or two and I started crying because I felt this strong love that I'd never, that I'd never felt really since then. And the more I read, the more I cried and the more I read and the more I cried. And it went on for days. And then I said, I, had, I, said, I have to stop reading. So I stopped reading and I kept on crying. And crying and crying and crying and like I'm getting dehydrated. I just need some drink, drink some water. And so finally, in the middle of the night, or it was two o'clock in the morning, I call up Gurudev on the telephone, and he said to me, "It's obvious. This is the love of Radharani. This is divine love you're feeling, and I'm so proud of you that you felt it. Now you know what it is. Now you need to go forward and live it out." And that's been my, and I immediately started writing. I made a, I'm writing on book, a book about it, and I'm writing all the time with Gurudev's uh, mercy inspiration. But it's something from my past that I remembered. So I've known divine love, and now I'm trying to remember it fully, to put it that way. Wow, that was a lot for not being prepared, wasn't it? <laughs> rade, rade. Yeah. 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 
It is a natural and divine. Ananda Baba is writing is a natural. What do you say natural? Normal. Natural, Normal. yes. Normal. And in normal, there is divine also. Hmm. Well, I really believe we all know divine love. We all have it. And it's just a matter of clearing the way hmm. to get down to it again, to get back to it again. Yes, I've been... are important to clean it. <laughs> House cleaning, spring cleaning. <laughs> yeah. And so I say you, your tears are very lucky tears. Try to more clean yourself. Mm -hmm. It's natural and normal. <laughs> this is the smarty of Now they are Beautiful, Udav Prabhu, thank you for sharing. Gaurmani. It needs some courage to open the heart like this. Gaurmani. Because often I see that although we are trying to be Dasis, we are also hiding many things. But I like when we have this relationship and this uh, freedom of fear that we don't need to hide. We can show all our feelings, all our purifications. Personally, I like this. And it's rare. And I thank you for opening up because like this, you are helping us also to open up and show our vulnerability because we are all looking for this divine love. We are looking for it everywhere, right? <clears throat> so, Nitiji, can I say something? Yes, please. <laughs> Jai, Jai, Jai Shila Gurudev, all Jai, all Rupanuga, Guru Varga, and all the assembly devotees, my obeisances to you all. Um, just talking about this uh, mercy, Shila Gurudev, Shila Sadhumar said, that it's impossible that we are sadhana siddhas. We are kripa siddhas. We are only on a line of mercy. And um, many years ago, when I was in ISKCON and uh, I was in the London temple with the temple president said to me, he said, he said, you are a mercy case. <laughs> and um, I thought, well, yeah, he's saying that I have some awkwardness or whatever, but I also knew deep in my heart that it was absolutely completely true, and I couldn't do anything. I am only dependent on mercy, and and only by mercy did I did Shula Prabhupada pick me up in this world, and and then only by mercy did I come to Shula Narayan Maharaj, and then Shula uh, Vaishnav Maharaj. He used to come to my house and give lectures and he started talking about Sadhu Maharaj and with so much love and oh and I said I have to meet this person. So um so next time I went to Vrindavan I lived in the Seva Kunj area, went to Mangalarti there and then every day after that, 6 30 in the morning I would come and hear Shilas Sadhu Maharaj's beautiful bhavs, not classes but bhavs, giving his his um Bob's and hearing these beautiful scriptures. So, um, so I, I'm totally a mercy case from beginning to end, and um, and that's yeah. And I'm feeling very grateful for that. And so, <laughs> thank you, Jai Shri Radhe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Jai Gurudev. Yeah. <laughs> Jai Gurudev. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Jai Jagatan Didi. <laughs> <laughs> Jai Jai Ananda Prabhu. Oh my God, I can't believe the service that you're doing there. Just unbelievable. But you always said how you were empowered 
directly by Sadhu Maharaj. And so we see that in the results of your preaching there. So beautiful. Thank you. So this is Kuripa. I, I feel also only I'm doing by Kuripa, Guru Kuripa. Otherwise, no. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Maharani, are you ready to share? I will try my best. I'm a little bit shy in this in this assembly. How can I make? Ich muss mich bewegen. Okay, machen wir das so. I'm a little bit shy because when I listen to you, I feel like um, I don't really have to to share much, but I have a lot in my heart. And what I just realized today that somehow Radha Moha has a plan for all of us. I'm I'm sure, and. When I just think back how I met the devotees and the way I went, like I was a long time in ISKCON, I had an arranged marriage and I was following very nicely all the principles. <laughs> and as a Swiss person, to be honest, it feels good because you know, okay, I'm good. I did it. I, it's right. So I had to go through this to do the first steps. and. And I actually met Gurudev very first time. I was just divorced. And I met him and he was really horrible. He was just saying in the ISKCON Mela and something just turned me around or someone. I cannot say I turned because later on I realized I still had one material desire I wanted to reach a certain level in my job. And I just, from inside, I needed to do this. And for some time, I was really thinking, why did I have all this desire? Why did I really spend some more years, like five more years for my job, for my like material life? And then again, I reached I reach my goal, my material goal, and I met Gurudev again. And at the beginning, I thought I just wasted this time. And now I can say, no, actually, now I'm 57. I'm not really retired like <laughs> other can completely retire because somehow it's still my seva and my passion. But as a single mom, I would not even be able now to take so much time in Rindavan and to support so many projects. So I I really feel and I just have this faith that Radha Mohan sees what what does desire do we have? How ha how can they catch us or me? I can talk about me. How can they catch me with my like material desires and turn them so they become seva? And the other thing was um, the name Maharani I got in ISKCON. And I was really praying for a long time because I had no relation to Radharani. I didn't even really understand who she is or didn't hear much, especially in the Zurich temple. We don't have Radha, Radharani. We have it have her one, da one day a year. Otherwise, she's in the cellar. And... Um, I feel it's also a plan, it's mercy, because I was meditating so much, so I was led to Gurudev to figure out who is Radharani and to figure out who am I. So I really feel there is a plan, there is somehow a plan behind and supporting our weak points so that we can, <laughs> out of our weak weakness, <laughs> we can still improve somehow like in, in spiritual life so also this kripa or this mercy and um, if I had not reached this material goal I would not be able today to be here so often and to to have this arrangement and 
this makes me very grateful and also at the same time more humble it's like it was not even my desire it was somehow i was led or lead the led i don't know and um so i'm just very thankful i i have this chance and I'm very thankful i can be here in vrindavan so often and um it's very very important and i really need it <laughs> not thank you radhe radhe thank you maharani so nice can you maybe share with us what is your favorite feeling when you are in mongay mandir what is always driving you to go there and to to do your service Do that. To be honest, I arrive here and I'm just so happy from inside. Just, just so light. So it's just a completely different feeling. It's just, just full, um, complete. I feel complete. Maybe this is the, this is the the right thing. I feel complete. I don't. there is no i don't miss anything i don't search for anything it's just it just feels complete it feels, it feels really arrived settled I, i don't really know the words to say but there is just no lack whatsoever it's just full although i live much more simple and everything is more simple and this is the, this is the, <laughs> the nice thing it's so it's just full beautiful thank you guru dev just went to the bathroom so maybe someone will take over <laughs> hey Jayananda Prabhu Maharaj ji you have also some song to share something from your heart i know you were playing guitar yeah but today i don't not now i have no guitar now no <laughs> guitar madhu mangala rati come come close radhe radhe mangala rati <laughs> say something to your brothers and sisters very very suddenly i don't have i'm not the previous one <laughs> what to do don't do good day my men i just am waiting for you and i'm going to um yes No the, the picture is frozen no they are back hey mangala arti say something how are you today what is your heart flavor what is your service how you feel <laughs> yes um, and yeah, we have we have to love which is on the recent days good day to the class he said uh, you have a lot of uh, yeah, so or we talk to show yeah, the yeah. people to maybe well, yeah. so prepare it today or tomorrow yeah, to to okay i'll be right <laughs> uh, one of my favorite is singing yeah uh, mangala arati and uh, asta rajbhava arati uh, it's good for me to uh, have some uh, feeling and uh, some realization Mm. Uh, we are thinking uh, some uh, vision coming <laughs> uh, but before 
I didn't have like this, just uh, just singing. But uh, every day, every day continue the seba and the singing. Slowly, slowly changing my mind. Uh, Raghunath Baya, can you put the the mic closer to her? We don't hear, hardly hear anything. Good. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> I don't have so much feeling and yeah experience. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Just uh, yes, I continue practice every day. I I'm staying here and uh, already staying with the uh, Gurudev and uh, other devotees. Many many. I can learn, so just practice. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, slowly, slowly changing my mind and uh, by saber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> everyone, only me now <laughs> in this room. Nobody didn't. So go back to the <laughs> day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My God. Thank you so much. She is very much in service. All of us like to be attending our tea, playing Prashad, taking care of me. Wow, very good stuff. Proud of me. She mm -hmm. started making so nice garments very fast. Rasmadri also and Mandala also. I see they only learn by looking and looking and then they do. If not that time, and they, they can do better. Wow. Very seriously, they watch it. They do very nice. I wait. And very loving and very caring to everyone. Very good. Thank you. We can feel your happiness and your satisfaction. And sometimes it is difficult to put the feelings in the words. But like Gurdiv say, always says, we can see it in each other's face and therefore it is nice if we can relish the happiness of the face, of the eyes, of the expressions that come naturally. Real Thank happiness, you. Real happiness is this, when we serve without any tension, with love, that very special time. Is scary. And tomorrow, our birthday. So I oh. will say you bless her today for her birthday also. Happy birthday, Mangala, for tomorrow. <laughs> 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 
She make nice dress for Radha Mohan. She make go past me puja. All the seeds is sponsoring other sponsor, but she big share is sponsoring everything. Go past me seva, and she is sponsoring coming. <laughs> Oh, man, it's a Japanese speciality. It's a speciality with mix of Japanese also. <laughs> and uh, Prem Prasad also, she is organizing. And she is doing in evening time, or evening time we do? Yes. Evening time. <laughs> because the evening time is Japanese time. So, or the evening is Japan is sponsored. <laughs> So she is taking evening time. Yes. So bless everyone to him. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sai, so beautiful. Mangala Arti. I hope you have a beautiful, the most beautiful day tomorrow in Vrindavan. Lots of Amazing service and making all devotees in all Gurudev happy and Radha Mohan give all what you need, what you desire for your bhakti, for your relation to Srimadhi Radhika. Namaste, <laughs> Mangana Harati. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you so much, Arati. Thank you so much, Arati. So now, good if we are waiting for some sharing of the Russian Bhaktas, Dasis. I don't know if they are already online because Nandarani said she will come in the second hour. I'm just uh, give one chance uh, to borrow money also, and then give yes, yes, yeah. of course. Where he is, Vani. <laughs> Jai Ho, Gauravani. How do you all lovingly? <sighs> ah, such a feast to see you all. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Actually, Sunidhi asked me to say a little bit, so I said I cannot talk about my life because it takes too long, too, too, too many stuff happen. But I want to speak a little bit about the Guru Tattva, how I experienced Guru Tattva. Guru Tattva can be experienced in so many ways because we have so individual lives, because we are individual. So, I want to begin in Brindavan and I want to end in Brindavan because this is always a good start and always the best end. <laughs> So first time I came to Brindavan, actually I was meditating about 20, 25 years, I think, something like this about Brindavan. And I always knew, because I heard from so many devotees who were there, some stories, I always had the feeling, when I go there, I will not want to go back. So. It's a risk for me. If I go there, maybe I want to stay forever. Actually, this is what happened. I came after a long trip with some friend of mine, and uh, it was from ESCON, um, some famous devotee, let's say like that. And he asked me to come with him because he said, you are crazy like me. You will go for one week, just one week. 
And I said, yes, I am crazy like you. I will go just for one week because I don't have more time. So I said, so then please join. So we went there for one week. This was my first time. I came there. I was shocked because of the outside circumstances. My mind has to be a little bit cooling down because at that time it was not so sober like now. Now Vrindavan is really clean. At that time it was a little bit different. So I was a little bit shocked. So my mind was fighting and said, why you came here? What were you doing? <laughs> and I wanted to really turn around and go back. But then I said to my mind, please cool down. It's Vrindavan. First, you have to come here. You are still on the, on the way. So we went to a hotel where the ants were going over the bed on one side up and the other side down. This was also some impression, so I have to sleep now there. My mind was again disturbed. So I remembered Prabhupada, because at that time I didn't knew Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj. <laughs> I remembered Prabhupada, and then I was cool. I was lying down, I was sleeping, and after one and a half hours I was waking up, in a completely different mood. I heard somebody was offering something. I heard somebody sing the holy name. It was the first time in my life that I had the feeling in the heart. I just remember now Maharani, what she said, what is the right expression for that feeling? The first time I really felt at home, really home, first time in life, because the heart was fully satisfied, the mind was peaceful, everything was completely in one mood, I am at home here, this was the feeling, and it was a very, very, very extraordinary ordinary, uh, situation. I never forget. Things were happening which I will never forget. Radharani was really giving so much mercy. I cannot describe all in all, but I remember some little occasions. We were going from Vrindavan with the taxi, and at that time, you know, now, Two bridges are there over the lanes. Where the train is coming, you can drive over a bridge now. This wasn't at that time. You had to go by taxi to this, or by ox car or whatever. <laughs> you had to go to, to this, uh, wie sagt man, Schranken? So Niti, what is this? Barrier. Barriers, yeah. So taxi was driving in the way to the barriers. And you know, in Vrindavan, it looks like there's an ox car and there are some people standing, there's a car, there are whatever. It's a whole bunch of something in front mm -hmm. of this. It was closed. So we came with a taxi and somehow everything moved and it looked like the ocean was split, you know. And we were driving and these barriers went up. We were going through and these barriers went down. And I was looking, I, I couldn't believe because so many people were there. We were just driving through and it, and, and it went down again. So I was somehow paralyzed. I didn't understood. We came to the next barrier. The same thing happened, same scene. Taxi driver was looking in the mirror at me and he was asking, who are you? And I didn't understand why he was asking me. Because I was also 
just shocked why it happened like this. You know, it's not me. But he was looking at me. And in this moment, I understood I'm the first time here. Brother Rani wants to show me something. He wants to show me something. What is happening here? What In what world I am now? And because I'm so dull, I need to have some extraordinary experience in the out. Because if you cannot feel it inside, you first have to see it outside. So this was just one thing happened. Another thing happened. I was meeting a person who was actually talking about philosophy about Balaram. And he was actually saying not the same like Prabhupada said. In the evening I was disturbed in the mind, but I wanted to sleep. I was so tired. I hardly slept, maybe one and a half hour a day. And I was disturbed, but I couldn't find an answer to it. So I was reading in, uh, I think it was Krishna book, and the eyes fell down and I said, okay, I have to sleep. So I shut the light and wanted to sleep. In this moment, some engine started somewhere. I don't know. It was some corner and it went, wang! And I couldn't sleep. And I was completely, oh my God, why now? And it went on for five minutes. You know, it feels some, sometimes like hours when you are completely tired and you want to sleep and this is going on and on and on. And then some thought came in my mind and it was like, if you are going up now, you start the light and then the engine stops then this is a sign that you will get the answer of your question in the book, in the next lines. I thought, what strange kind of thought is this? So I thought, okay, I would do it, but I'm so tired. I cannot. Again, wanging, wanging. Then I thought, okay, I will do it. I stood up. I switched the light on and the engine was burr off. Sound was off. So I thought, okay, then something has to be on that thought. I took the book, turned the page, and there Prabhupada was speaking exactly about this philosophical point. It was something about Balaram. If he is actually in the uh, Lilas, if he is playing a role in the Lilas or not. It was standing there in this Krishna book. Then I was completely peacefully sleeping. So this was another thing. So we can see that Guru Tattva is actually leading us, even if we have one question. And at that time, I have to say, I didn't have an outside guru because my guru from ISKCON was actually gone. And um, I didn't know. I, I had this thought, I will never again accept the guru because I was uh, really um, burned like that. But now it's going on. After all that, I was at home. I had a house here in in uh, in the area here. I'm living now in Heidelberg. It's it's around here somewhere, thirty kilometers. I was living there, and my friend, good friend of mine, was living two or three villages. Uh, I would say far. So it was actually Tarunguvinda, and. One day I was standing in front of, uh, I had Radha Sham at that time, at, as my uh, 80s, and I was telling them, if you want me to accept again any guru, then now I will tell you under what circumstances. I was really puffed up in that moment, you know. 
if you want me to accept again a guru, I was really, you know, upset. And then I said, first of all, he has to be from Brindavan. Second of all, he has to be self-realized. I mean, really self-realized. Third of all, he has to come in my house and he has to give me initiation here in front of you. You, Radheshyam, here, in front. And then I said, and I will prove him again in different ways. I will offer him an asana. And if he accepts that, he is not my guru. I will offer him prasadam, special prasadam. If he don't accept what we accept, he is not my guru. And so on. So I said like that. One week later, I got a phone call from my friend, Taru. And he said, you know, the guru of my wife, you all know Tarun, Tarun's guru is Ananda Das Babaji. He said, the guru of my wife, he's here and he has time. And this is very rare because usually he's traveling from here to there and programs everywhere. But now he's for one week just with us in peace. It's a good opportunity to learn to know him. I said, well, it's very near. I have time. Why not? I will go there. So I learned to know Sadhu Maharaj. And he was reading my mind perfectly. I think all of you have some experience of that. I heard it many times from my God brothers and God, uh, God sisters that he was reading the mind and with me, it was the same. I was impressed. And then he asked me one question. You remember what I told you what happened in Vrindavan about Balaram? He was asking me, do you think that Balaram is playing any role in the Leelas of Radha and Krishna? And I said, of course. And he was so happy to get this answer. He was I saw it in the mind he was really jumping. Maybe outside not, but I really felt his heart. He was really jumping. Good if you may remember that. And he even said, this is godly intelligence. You may discuss this point longer because it's not so easy. But anyway, this was the point. So I was somehow impressed and uh, it started to to move in in the mind maybe he could be the guru <laughs> but i was too hurt to take this by the first time so i went back home and i think one or two days later Tarun called me again and he said, you know, he's still there for some days. It would be a very nice opportunity, you know, like this. And I said, yeah, maybe we can make a program. I said, I mean, he wanted to go out on the point that he is giving initiation, but I just said, yeah, we can go, we can make a program. <laughs> So we made a program and then Gurudev came inside. Please forgive me, Gurudev, to make you all these circumstances, but it had to be like that for me. And Gurudev went in his yeah, undescribable, lovely way through all these tests. When he came in, I offered him an asana. I said, Gurudev, here, asana, we prepared for you. Please take a seat. He said, no, no, I will sit with everyone on the floor. Test one. Then we took prasadam. And uh, ah, there was a, a third test about lecture. 
when he is giving a lecture and is not asking devotees how they feel and not in exchange, then it would be also one of these tests. So Gurudev went through all this. I cannot explain in what a lovely and nice way. He said, no, no, I don't want to give a lecture. We sit down and have a little exchange. We are all devotees, you know, on one level, it's, there's no difference. And if you eat prasadam, I will also eat the same. So after this program, which was very, very nice program, um, Tarun spoke again with me and he said, you know, he could give initiation in these days when he is still here. So maybe you want to take this opportunity. And then I said, yes, I want. And the point was, Gurudev was standing in front of my house. Like I was imagine in this moment when I said to Radhesham, he has to come to the door of my house and he has to ring. And it was ringing, and Gurudev stand there before he gave me initiation in front of the deities in my house. Exactly like I said, everything happened like this. This was actually the mercy of Srila Prabhupada. And now we come back to Vrindavan. When I was there, first time in Mandavan, I was without Guru and I was uh, feeling like lost. And Narayan Maharaj uh, disciples, which I knew, they were actually always saying, you need a living Guru, otherwise you cannot go back. But I didn't knew, do I really need? And in this moment, when I was in Bandavan, I think it was the second day when I was there. Yes, I think it was the second day. In the morning, I went out. It was 2.30. I was in Banke Bihari guest house. And I was walking to Iskon, to Krishna Balaram Mandir. And I was chanting. And when I came there, they just opened the doors for the Gurukul. You know, there's an entrance, main entrance. And before that, if you come from inside Brindavan, you, you pass the entrance for Gurukul. So they just opened that entrance. So I sneaked in and um, I was lying myself, prostrating myself before Prabhupada. So I was alone. Nobody was there. When I was lying down, I had a feeling that Prabhupada was hugging me. And he said, you know, you don't have to worry. Everything is prepared. You will find the person who will give you guidance and I will be there always. And in this moment, I had the feeling I cannot describe because I, I never actually uh, till that moment I didn't knew Gurudev's ashram. I didn't knew the building or the place where he where he is or I didn't know anything. So Munge Mandia I didn't know. But at this moment, I saw and felt Mungiamandia, which I realized later on. So it came. 
But I understood that the Guru Tattva is always with you. And whatever it is outside, the most important is the inside. And Gurudev actually was stressing this point many times. He said, you know, a Guru, and he was talking about himself in this moment, may always hurt you somehow. Can happen. He may make mistakes, but Guru Tattva never. And this is why we have to have a connection in our form of soul, in our real identity, with the real identity of the outside of Guru. Because there is a body and this, the whole thing is perfect, as we see from the scriptures. It's not, we don't have to see Gurudev's body as a human being with faults. We have to see him in his spiritual form and there is perfection. There's no fault. There can never be any fault. The soul is always perfect and especially Radha Dasi is even more than perfect. It's 108% perfect. So thank you Gurudev for giving me this mercy and I know I'm not the kind of person who can show you my thankfulness all the time, but I know you feel. I'm so loving. I know you feel. You have a big heart. Thank you, Gauravani, for sharing your deep uh, feelings and realizations about the Guru and how Radharani is sending her, her manjaris, even according to our own needs and desires. <laughs> and even when we are very sometimes weak or we feel pain in our hearts we feel body anymore i have been i cannot you know believe that there is this real love in my life that i will experience even with the guru this can happen right we see how harmony is making miracles to catch each of her dasis, <laughs> she making a miracle come true. Thank you for sharing this. And Life of all of the who and so many tons of swam. I think there are some internet problems by Suniti. Sorry, my internet connection was cut. It was slow. Thank you, Gauravani, again. Sorry, I was cut.
No, no problem. Thank you. It's always nice to share with all of you because uh, we need that. We need to hear from other experience and we need to hear that we are exclusively loved by Radharani and Guru and are going our individual way, whatever it takes. We just have to be. And this is what Guru Dev told me in the first meeting. He said, you know, you, all, you always have to be honest. That's actually the base, to be honest. It doesn't matter where you are, who you are, just be honest. Because how Radharani can take you if you are lying to yourself? If you think I'm at the train station in Munich because it sounds better, but you are in, a, in, in some train station in a very small village, no one can pick you up in Munich, right? If you are standing in a small village, nobody can pick you up in Munich because you are not there. So you have to be honest. Then somebody can pick you up. I, you know, I'm standing in some ABC village. Please pick me up there. Then somebody can come. So we don't need to make us bigger or smaller. We just have to be what we are, because it is said in Vilap Kusumanchali that everyone who is coming to Radharani is exactly like she wants him to be. I think this is a very important point. Because every baby is exactly what Mama wants him to be. It's not that Mama says, no, no, I will not accept like this. I will put it back, give me another one. I ordered something else. <laughs> we are exactly what we should be. Jai Ho, thank you so much again. Now I would like to ask if Nandarani is there with uh, Ina. No, I cannot see them. So is there anybody else who would like to share on the points of Gauravani, maybe? Can I share something? Sure. Yeah, did I? Did. Uh, uh, just a second. I was uh, really, uh, I could relate to what Goravani was saying about his experience, how uh, when he was praying uh, to Prabhupada and went to Vrindavan and felt so much uh, support and love from Srila Prabhupada and that this guidance and love, because I had very similar experience. Uh, also many years in ISKCON and also Guru left, you know, and then I was like wandering without any uh, guidance for so many years. And then um, in I went to Vrindavan for the first time in 2012, I think, yes. And then... Um, I was just confused with everything, <clears throat> but then also again, I went to Vrindavan in 2013 and I was even more confused 
because uh, I was uh, begging, asking for, for guidance. I didn't know where should I go? What should I follow? What should I do? I needed some direction in life. So uh, it was a very amazing and very strange in the same time experience because at the very first or second day we went there, I went there practically alone with my uh, friend and she kind of left me somewhere <laughs> and uh, and she didn't really associate with me so i was alone and i met one lady devotee in the krishna balara mandir who happened to have very beautiful friends in varshana and then with her th these friends were the pujaris in the shriji mandir in the top of the hill you know so uh, it was purely Radharani's mercy from that beginning, from that point. I could feel that, but it was so much. I, I had, I went through many, like a difficult periods. Even that, that time, and after that, I would, I was feeling it was kind of a purification process, I guess. So I uh, went to to Varshana, and we even slept there for the whole night in that place. So I felt this was kind of mercy coming down because there were some dreams about uh, in the dream during that night, I could feel, uh, hear someone shouting, Jai Jai Shirade in a forest. It was so strange and quite, quite unusual. And, but still I was completely bewildered and confused. And what I decided, I went to Prabhupada in, the, in, in his samadhi and also in his house in Krishna Balara Mandir. And all the time I could feel that he is there with me like a grandfather, like some very caring and loving grandfather who is not a big, big acharya, but who is actually my well-wisher and taking care of me. And then... Many times I could feel the indications through different uh, 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 happenings, like, like coincidences that he's there taking care. And then uh, I went for some reason, I didn't even know why. I went to uh, Radha Damodar temple and I decided I want to, I need to pray to Rupa Goswami. And I need to go to Rupa Goswami's Samadhi Mandir, you know, the, his Murti. I didn't even know. I didn't realize uh, why I was going there and why I was just choosing exactly to pray there. And I went there in front of Rupa Goswami and I said, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I need any guru or where do I belong? What do I need? Just please give me some guidance. You tell me what is my life path? Where should I go? What is my uh, nature? What is my direction in life? At, at that time, when I asked that, it was like a stream of energy so much intense that, that like struck me that I immediately I got sick after that. <laughs> and I was sick for a week with temperature. And uh, and it was so so weird actually that that same year I went through so many difficulties and the next year, but I I already heard about Sadhu Maharaj, you know, and then uh, fine. I was thinking, wow, this could be interesting, and I somehow the desire to to be closer to Radharani appeared in my heart, and then I met. Sadhu Maharaj in, in uh, Hungary next year. And then I realized that actually I don't want to go so much into details because the time is short. I just wanted to say that this was all due to mer the mercy of, I feel it due to the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Rupa Goswami. And I, I was like, didn't even know who I am actually praying to because Rupa Goswami is none other than Rupa Manjari, <laughs> and he, she is the top <laughs> Manjari uh, to turn to. And this is where I uh, came, you know, like, here I am. <laughs> so this is like completely amazing how you get 
uh, when you're completely confused, but but you still you have this guidance and protection by the right personalities who are actually meant to be there for you. And it was all Radharani's mercy and arrangement. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Suniti, please, Можно one question, little. Yes, Mata Govinda does. Is that you, Shyama Sundari? Uh, только trans translation. Govinda Mahini, вы здесь? Рады, рады. Я и города. Да, я здесь, просто я на улице. Рада, рада. Давайте задавать Говинда... вопрос. Рада. Ну, это не вопрос, да, как бы я хочу признаться любви Махараджу, Садху Махараджу. <laughs> Радха Говинда Прабу wants to express his love to Садху Махарадж. Давайте. Саду Баба, плиз. Я очень, ну как, не знаю. Я жажду получить от него ситхасварупу. Жажду. И я He... полюбил его. Вот за, да, за этот год я полюбил его всем сердцем. И я, ну как бы, зна... давайте по кусочкам, да? Да, да, да. Рады, рады. Uh, he's saying that he he's thirsty. He's thirsty to get Siddha Swaru from you, Gurudev. And this year, he's confessing that he's totally uh, fallen in love with you. And he he's uh, very attached to you by this year. Baba, I am very grateful for the fact that you don't know me. Я вижу, как вы любите, да, всех любите, даете нам Прабхупаду, даете нам Анан туда с бабуш, даете сва... рада Гавинду бабу, да, что вы даете их милость, передаете нам. He's saying that although you don't know him personally, but you love him, he he feeling that you love him so much and. He's very thankful, Gurudev, that you are giving to us Srila Prabhupada and Ananta Das Babaji and Radha Govinda Das Babaji Maharaj also. I вот за этот год, который да в этой санги да в Радо Дасе санги, я всем всем сердцем полюбил вообще его учеников Саду Махараджа, Мундир Мандир. Я мечтаю побывать, да, я когда-нибудь приеду обязательно, как только откроют границы. Yeah. Uh, he's saying that, uh, frankly speaking, this year, by this year, he completely fell in love with Guru Dev, with all Radha Dasis, with all Sangha, and he wants eagerly to go to Munger Mandir, to visit Munger Mandir, and to see by himself, and uh, to see Guru Dev himself. And when the border uh, open, he will surely come as soon as possible. И вот эта рада рада Даси, вот эта группа, да, это вообще я понимаю, вот я задумался последний, да, вот месяц, я понимаю, что это самое лучшее, что было у меня за 50 лет моей жизни. And he's saying that this Radha Dasi group uh, that it it is the best what happened to him in his 50 years of his past past 50 years of his life. I love you, Guru Dev. I love you. I love you, Jai. brother, <laughs> sister. Yeah. Благословите, пожалуйста, меня, такого негодяя, чтобы я, да, я обрел эту манжари пхаву нашей с вами, не, Радхи. О, Рада. Рада please. моя, Рада. <laughs> He's saying that, please, bless such a rascal like me to get this Radha Dasya Bhava and to have this feeling of minus to Radhika, like to Swamini, like my Radha, my Radha. He wants your blessing, Gurudev. 
Radhe, Radhe. Keep chanting continuously. All will be nice. Говорит, продолжайте воспевать, не прекращайте воспевать, все будет хорошо. Thank you, Radha Govindaji, for opening your heart so boldly. So you're tearing your heart open, and uh, we can feel the fire of your eagerness and your separation. And we all pray that soon we will meet in Radhavan together and hug and uh, cry and sing and play and dance together. <laughs> Свините сказала, что вы как будто бы свою грудь разорвали и показали жар своего сердца, огонь. Она надеется, что мы скоро можем встретиться во Вриндаване, все сможем обняться, познакомиться. Thank you, Suniti. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Jayananda. Bye -bye. Me too. Me too. I want to hug you. I want to talk. I want to... Ача баба, бахута ньяват. Но тенки, он ли рады рады? Рады рады. Говинда Мохини, do you know if this uh, uh, Ина, if she is ready to share or what is happening with Nandarani's translation? Because she said to me she will share today. They want to share. Yes, I'm also waiting for this, but I don't know what happened because no messages. As far as I can see in our chat, I, I see no messages, so I also don't know what happened actually. Hare Krishna, my dear family, uh, it's Ina. I'm here, but I'm waiting for Nandarani. <laughs> he will be here a bit later. Oh, okay, but uh, Govinda, hello, Radhe Radhe Ina, but uh, Govinda, Radhi, Radhi. Mohini also, Govinda Mohini also can translate you, because our time is a little bit limited, just so okay. you, you feel is Govinda Mohini? Yes. Okay, okay. And uh, you have your picture on? Hare Krishna, yes. <laughs> Hare Krishna, my dear family. <laughs> oh. So if God... <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> I, I'm happy to see all of you. <laughs> and I'm happy to be acquaintance today with uh, my family. <laughs> and uh, I hope that Govinda Mahini uh, can uh, translate <laughs> my Russian into English. Are you ready? No. Я, я просто сейчас возвращаюсь. У нас тут дождь в Питере, просто шквальный с ветром. И я вот возвращаюсь домой сейчас и буду дома через где-то минут шесть. I'm saying mm -hmm. that now in St. Petersburg is like a storm with the rain and I'm back home and in five minutes I will be at home and I can translate there. If it's possible, after I think five minutes I'm near my home. А где Нандарани? Она сказала, она сказала, что она в пробке, что она едет, но застряла в пробке. Да здесь, а -а -а. здесь. Hello, hello. О, о, о. Сможешь hello. перевести? Да, прекрасно. Все, рада, рада. Я остался в трафик джем. Хочу быть раньше, чем это. Я как раз на, к началу да, зашла. Не пропустила? Да. Нет. Все, давайте, я готова переводить. Хорошо. Я в пробке. Харик Кришна, Сада Махарич. Good if are you are you there? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Hare Krishna. I'm so happy to see you again. It's a mercy of God to see you again. I'm just uh, uh, very, very fine. 
and because of mercy of god and of your mercy thank you <laughs> she is study all the books she is a pandit wow she knows many things wow not not all the books <laughs> about half of them <laughs> not not all <laughs> i'm so but, happy to be but to pandit be because you want to go for ragabhakti that is the pandit job Hare Krishna, Radhe Radhe. So yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready yeah. to speak about me a little. Okay. Я буду говорить, наверное, по-русски. It will be better if I will speak in Russian, that our Russian devotees can understand um, what we are speaking about. And uh, Randanda Rani will translate it in English because <laughs> she's professional <laughs> interpreter. <laughs> Do you have you have English? You talk. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay. Давайте, да, говорите. Я попала в сознание, но попала в общество преданных примерно пять лет назад. I I came to Vaishnav society about five years ago. До этого момента я уже была шесть лет вегетарианкой и также не было вредных привычек никаких. Wow. Uh, but before I came to Vaishnavs, I was a vegetarian for six years before that, and I didn't have any bad habits like smoking, drinking. И поэтому мне было очень трудно найти общество единомышленников, кто так же бы, как и я, но стремился к духовной жизни и тоже бы, ну, поддерживал вегетарианство. То есть в любой компании я была одна, одиночка, как белая ворона. Вот. And it was, very, it was very difficult for me to find a suitable company, you know, the company where I would feel comfortable because I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, and uh, I couldn't find any souls, you know, uh, something in common with people, and that's why I was happy to find Vaishnavas. И однажды, когда я увлекалась сыроедением, Uh, мой, один мой знакомый предложил мне прочитать лекцию про сыроедение uh, в одном небольшом uh, обществе, uh, в его клубе. Uh, он, он открыл небольшой клуб и предложил мне прочитать общество в, в этом обществе лекцию по сыроедению. Uh, I was, I had a, um, I was interested in raw eating. Do you know this um, tendency when you're not boiling, you're not frying, but eating only raw fruits? And vegetables. So I was uh, eating that way, and one friend uh, offered me to give a lecture about this type of eating. He has a big, uh, uh, like, room. Как клуб вы сказали, да? У него был маленький клуб ведической культуры. Он так и назвал клуб The Club of Vedic Culture. So he opened the club of Vedic culture. So and he uh, invited Inno uh, to give the lecture. About raw eating. Да. И когда я прочитала <coughs> эту лекцию, а, после меня а, сел читать лекцию один а, мужчина, и как раз он начал читать <coughs> он, он, был, он был преданный, я тогда не знала об этом, и он начал читать лекцию о смысле жизни и о душе. Ага, и после того, как я дала лекцию о том, что я не знала, был человек, который был девочкой, но в то время я не понимала, что он был девочкой, и он говорил в основном о душе, о смысле жизни, о смысле жизни. И я поняла, что это как раз то, что я искала так много лет. Именно такие лекции, именно это знание. И я поняла, что это то, что я искала так много лет. Именно это знание. For so many years, this kind of lectures, this kind of knowledge. Я уже до этого я практически всю жизнь была в поисках духовного, в поисках духовной истины и припробовала много путей в разные религии и в том числе даже занимался эзотерикой. So I have been uh, searching the meaning of life, this kind of topics all my life. I was uh, looking through different religions, esoterics, even that topics. No, ни одна из религий, ни один из путей изучения духовного знания не приносил мне полного удовлетворения. 
But uh, though I looked at different religions and spiritual ways, I couldn't, uh, I didn't feel satisfied. Like I didn't like something was wrong there. И тогда я услышала эту лекцию в этом медическом клубе, и я поняла, что наконец Господь услышал мои молитвы <laughs> и привел меня туда, куда надо. <laughs> and, and when I listened uh, to this lecture uh, in the Vedic uh, club, I realized that this is it. This is what I was looking for all my life. That's what I need. И после лекции я подошла к этому лектору, стала задавать ему вопросы, и он предложил мне читать Бхагавадгиту под его руководством. So after this lecture, I came to this man, I began to ask him question, and he said that I should read Bhagavad Gita under his guidance. И так я начала изучать путь вайшнавизма, вайшнавской культуры. And that's how I began to study Vaishnav culture. Я попросила этого мужчину стать моим духовным наставником. Он согласился. Он является учеником Шрила Нарайана Махараджа. So this man is a uh, disciple of Shila Narayana Maharaj, and I asked him to be uh, my, no, not like guru, but like, like helper, teacher, to guide her. И когда я когда я изучала шастры и ведические ну вайшнавскую литературу, у меня было ощущение, что я не изучаю что-то новое, а что как будто я вспоминаю что-то давно забытое старое. И от этого я была очень счастлива. Wow! And when when I began to study this Vaishnav literature and scriptures, it didn't feel for me like it's a new information. It felt it felt like Uh, I remember something, you know, like I'm recalling, like I, I, I knew it before, but kind of forgot, and now I see it again. И uh, я начала ходить в храм Искон. Я живу в городе Самара, и у нас здесь есть большой красивый храм Искон. I live in city Samara. That's in Russia. Uh, it's, a, it's a big city in Russia, and we have a very big and beautiful uh, temple of Iskon. And I began to go there to Iskon. И, и я была чрезвычайно счастлива общаться с единомышленниками. Наконец, я нашла общество преданных, э, с которыми э, я могла обсуждать духовное развитие, с которыми я могла говорить не на материальные, а на духовные темы. Это именно то, чего жаждала моя душа. And I was so happy to meet people who see the same, feel the same as me. Finally, we had some, something in common, and I was very happy to be next to these people. Mm -hmm. И параллельно я продолжала общаться с последователями Нарайана Махараджа, также и с другими вайшнавами в нашем городе. То есть я, я не была ограничена рамками одной организации, я общалась э, со всеми вайшнавами, которых мне Господь прислал в мою жизнь. Да. At the same time, I also communicated with disciples of Narayana Maharaj and with other disciples. So I wasn't only in one organization, I was talking with all Vaishnavs in the city. И когда однажды мой духовный наставник начал мне рассказывать о Манжаре Бхаве, вообще о Манжаре, об их служении, я поняла, что это как раз то, что от чего затрепетало мое сердце. В этот момент у меня что-то перевернулось во мне и поняла, что вот оно, вот то, что я искала. Вот это самое, самое то. And uh, one time uh, this man in Iskon, so he uh, began to talk about... Не Искон, вот он учитель. На Райну Махарадж. А, то есть не Искон, он был на Райну. So one man, the disciple, disciple of на Райну Махараджи, yeah. So he began to talk about Manjari Bhava, about uh, this topic about Manjari And uh, that's what really made me very interested in. Да, я стала после этого углубленно изучать книги Ачарьев, которые описывают Манжари Бхаву, произведения Нарота Мадаса Такура, Рупа Гасвами, Шилы Вишванатха Чикраварти Такура, Кришиндаса Кавираджа Гасвами. So all these all these offers that she mentioned, uh, so she began to read these books, and she really, uh, I I really wanted to learn about Manjari Bhava. И чем больше я читала такие книги, тем больше я понимала, что это единственная тема, которая интересует меня больше всего. Все остальное мне не так интересно. 
And the more I read, uh, the more I understood that this is the only topic that I'm really interested in, and other topics were not interesting so much. Я искала людей, с кем я могу поговорить на эту тему открыто, потому что в обществе преданных не принято говорить о Манжаре Бхаве и о Радхадасе. Это считается очень сокровенной темой. И мне не с кем это было обсуждать, хотя была очень сильная потребность. I really like this topic of Manjari Bhava, but I couldn't find people with whom I could talk about it because I discovered that among devotees it's some kind of a sacred topic or intimate topic, Manjari Bhava, and I couldn't find people who I can discuss it with. Да. И в душе я всегда чувствовала себя именно служанкой Радхарани. <laughs> У меня было такое чувство, что я э, ее служанка, она моя с вами, она моя любимая, она моя госпожа. Я всегда так чувствовала. Очень and сильно this, чувствовала. And deeply inside, in my soul, I felt that I'm the, uh, the Dasi of Radharani. So I'm really that, that kind of mood person. And I began to feel it very strongly. Я, я, да, я начала молить Господа, чтобы Он послал мне общество единомышленников, <laughs> с которыми я могла бы от, открыто обсуждать свои эмоции, реализации на эту тему, потому что Господь давал много реализаций, много откровений, которые для меня были очень ценные, и мне хотелось об, обсудить в это с теми, кто бы мог это правильно понять. И я просила общество единомышленников у Бога. Да. Yeah. And after reading these books, I began to have many realizations, I began to understand so many things, and there were some unusual things were happening, but I didn't have anyone with whom I could discuss it, with whom I could go deeper into the topic of Manjari Prava. So I really began to pray to God, please, please send me that kind of people who have the same mood as I have. И... Однажды Господь услышал мои молитвы, и один из преданных, Ишапре Прабу, он ученик в линии Шидхара Махараджа, он посоветовал мне послушать одну из лекций в Зуме от Саду Махараджа и скинул мне ссылку на Зум. И так я услышала впервые лекцию Саду Махараджа. He is now in our sangha, in Russian sangha. So he advised uh, to listen to one lecture of Sadhu Maharaj, and he sent me the link in Zoom, and I joined. That's how I found you. Да. И потом, когда я присоединилась в ваш чат в WhatsApp, я поняла, что вот оно, наконец, я нашла общество единомышленников, где я могла открыться и где эти темы приветствуются, а не запрещаются. And then I joined a uh, Russian uh, chat. Uh, we have in WhatsApp Russian chat. I began to read about it and I realized that's it. That's where I want to be. That's where people have the same mood. I can communicate. And that's what I was looking for. Я очень благодарна вам, дорогие преданные, за то, что вы есть, за то, что Богу благодарна за то, что Он послал мне вас и дает мне возможность общаться с вами. Для меня это огромная милость Господа. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much to all of you that you are there, that I can see you, I can talk with you, I can hear you, and that I can communicate and hear about this uh, Manjari Prava. Спасибо вам. И поскольку я по жизни творческий человек, когда я пришла в общество сознания Кришны, я с удвоенной, можно сказать, с удвоенным вдохновением начала писать стихи и песни, уже посвященные Шримати Радхарани и Кришне, на духовные темы. В общем, ну, творчество мое продолжалось уже в этом направлении. А раньше да. вы тоже писали, да? Просто вы писали я... на другие темы. Я писала на раньше на мирские темы, но все про любовь тоже было. Но когда я пришла сюда, Кришна вдохновил меня уже писать только на духовные темы, и больше никакие темы мне не интересны. Да. Uh, I am a creative person, and I have been writing uh, songs and poems before, but when I came to Krishna's consciousness and to this uh, to Vaishnavas and got this realization, I began to write songs and poems on this topic about Radharani. And now I'm not interested to write songs about just general, you know, mundane uh, topics. Not anymore. Да. И 
мне предложили одну из песен сегодня представить а, в этом зуме, <laughs> если можно, песню, посвященную Радхаране. And uh, today I, I was offered uh, to perform one of my songs uh, that I created. So actually the words and the, and the, the lyrics and the music is created. Yes, by Ina, about Radharani. So if you allow, I would like to perform it. Да, я заранее выслала на Дарани текст этой песни, попросила ее перевести. Может быть, сначала лучше пускай будет перевод этой песни на английский, а потом я уже спою. Да, Дарани? Давайте спросим. So, and uh, Ina is asking, so what is better? Because she sent me uh, Russian lyrics and I translated into English. So what is better just uh, for me to read English first or and then she would sing or... Maybe she would sing first and then I read English. I think it is would be good if, if you will, Ina, if you will uh, read the English and uh, uh, Nanarani will translate later or with the translating room and then you can sing because we are now almost two hours here. So I just want to see at the time, but I would love to hear you sing it and read it in English also. Uh, so you mean first I read in English and then she sings, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Да, говорит, лучше по-английски тогда я. So then I will read. I will read the lyrics. It's ready. I prepared. <laughs> so uh, the song is called Radharani. Ina uh, composed it in 2019. And this is the lyrics. Uh, people think that the God is the only one. He is almighty and controls everything. He doesn't need anyone. He is so great, powerful and strong. But no one will debate that a knight without a lady is not the same as a diamond in a splendid setting which sparkles hundreds of times more beautifully. The world we live in is entire and Shri Krishna is complete and entire together with Sri Radharani. Somebody thinks that God is very strict, merciless, jealous and cruel. <laughs> He looks down at us from above and keeps a critical eye on us. But we create our own destiny and our own sufferings and sometimes we get down to the bottom But he loves and waits for us anyway. And Sri Radharani bestows at us all the mercy and compassion from him. He is absolutely happy only with her, with her dear beloved. He is unmeasurably handsome and she is deeply in love with him. No one will debate that God without goddess is not the same as a diamond in a splendid setting which sparkles hundreds of times more beautifully. The world we live in is entire, and Sri Krishna is complete and entire together with Sri Radharani. That's all. Wow. So if you allow me, I can... Uh... I can sing it, okay, in Russian, <laughs> in original. Yes, very good. Very good. Uh, do, do you hear me good? Yes, yes perfect. Nice, nice. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. So, the music. Um, um, I, um, first, I switch on the music, okay? Людям кажется, Бог он один, Вседержитель всего властили, Что ни в ком не нуждается он, Так велик, всемогущ и силен. Только спорить не будет никто, Что ведь рыцарь без дамы не то, Что в роскошной оправе алмаз Красивее блестит в сотни раз. Как един весь тот мир, где мы с вами, Так и Кришна един в сочетании С Радхарани. Кто-то думает, Бог очень строг, Беспощатен, ревнив и жесток. 
с высоты своей смотрит на нас, Не спуская придирчивых глаз. Но судьбу себе сами плетем И страдания свои создаем. И порой улетаем на дно, Но он любит и ждет все равно. И всю милость, и все сострадание От него льет любя на нас с вами. Рахарани. Абсолютно он счастлив лишь с ней, С ненаглядной любимой своей. Он безмерно красив, а она Бесконечно в него влюблена. Да и спорить не будет никто, Что ведь Бог без богини не то, Что в роскошной оправе алмаз Красивее блестит сотни раз. Как единый весь тот мир, где мы с вами, Так и Кришна един в сочетании. Сра-ха-рани. Hare Krishna. Jai, jai, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Guru. Thank you. Thank you. Rade, rade. Very nice. Very nice. All are expanding. Wow. Actually, Ina likes uh, Japan, uh, Japan Zoom very much and Japanese devotees. She loves so much. All you are Rasik. That's why you understand Rasakatha from Maharaj and from all of devotee. Rasik. Только Rasiki могут понять, да, такую катху от Садху Махараджа и от всех. Только Rasiki могут понять такую катху. Krishna Prabhu is living in Switzerland. He's a great all Vaishnavas and Suniti. Rade Suniti. Jananda Maharaj. Nice to see you. Bhaut Bhai Guru and Jananda Maharaj Japan. Ah, oh, acha, oh, Jagadam. Jananda Maharaj, Jananda. Jananda. And Jananda is having now uh, 10,000 Japanese devotee chant Mahamantra, new. Really? Very happy, very nice classes. I'm very happy. Нам надо ранее можно еще два слова добавить? Да, да, давайте. Да. So she wants to add a couple of words more. If you want, if you want, few words. Да. Поскольку сейчас идет месяц Картика и все поют до Мадараш такого. Будет актуально сейчас сказать два слова о домодорожке, которые, на которую Господь вдохновил меня. Ну ладно, сейчас я это отдельно скажу. Ну, в общем, два слова о домодорожке, поскольку месяц картика идет. I would like I would like to talk just few words about the Madar Ashtaka because now it's Kartik, the month Kartik, and that's the topic that usually now we're singing. Mm-hmm. Да. Когда я впервые э, услышала Дамадараш таку в храме, э, я не знала текста, я не знала, о чем эта песня. Я просто услышала мелодию, как преданные исполняют. Э, и мне показалось, что я эту песню знаю. И она меня так тронула до глубины души, что я плакала, плакала всю песню. И потом, когда пришла домой, я слушала ее всю ночь, я зациклила ее и слушала ее раз за разом, эту песню. Uh, и все время ревела всю ночь. Я не знаю, у меня было ощущение, что я эту песню знаю. Wow. So uh, the first time when I heard the Madarash to come, I haven't heard it before. I didn't know this uh, bhajan at all. And when I first time heard it, I be- I-, I felt so uh, strongly 
I liked it so much. And I began to cry. And I was so astonished with this Damodarashtaka. So I came home the same day and I was listening and listening. And I was sitting and crying and I couldn't sleep the whole night. So I was listening and singing this song the whole night nonstop. And I had this so many tears. And I had such a strong feeling that I know this Ashtakam already. Like I forgot it kind of, but I remember it. And I couldn't sleep the whole night that day. Wow. Really и, и, да, и после, после того, как э, вот эта уже ночь прошла, на утро я вдруг почувствовала вдохновение от Господа Кришны написать э, этот баджан в русскоязычном варианте, в стихотворном варианте. То есть перевести на русский в стихотворном варианте, точь-в-точь, -точь, э, как э, э, в оригинале, не изменяя смысла ни одной строчки, ни одного слова. Господь вдохновил меня на это. Я послушала, ну, услышала зов изнутри. Давай, сделай это. And uh, after uh, sleepless night, <laughs> I was very inspired by Krishna uh, to write a very nice uh, Russian poem. You know, like uh, we have translation, of course, from Sanskrit, but it's not maybe perfect, you know, like poetic. And I decided to make it very, very beautiful, poetic Russian translation, but without changing any meanings or any words. Just make it nicer, you know, like professional, beautiful poem. Ну, мне хотелось сделать этот баджан понятным для русских преданных. То есть я не хотела что-то добавлять свое или что-то убирать. Я хотела перевести как есть, и чтобы русские преданные могли петь этот баджан, если у них будет желание на русском языке, и, возможно, для своих детей кто-то будет петь, какие-то мамы на русском языке, чтобы детям было понятно. Вот хотела сделать, ну, как сказать, перевод для русских преданных, чтобы кто-то мог петь, кто захочет на русском, и понимать, потому что важно понимать. And I wanted, I wanted to uh, make this uh, very beautiful poetic translation for Russian devotees that uh, can sing, understand it, and enjoy, you know, the, the play of the words and the music together. Every yes, beautiful, Ina, it's a nice service. Очень хорошее служение. Спасибо. 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 Спасиб